going on MTG fans welcome back for another pack crack video from Pistol Pete's collectible trading cards hope you are all doing absolutely amazing um, today we're back we're gonna do a Zendikar Rising uh, booster or set booster box pack crack video and the reason why I wanted to do this is just to kind of get some more knowledge out there in the magic community gathering about these set boosters and uh, you know why they're so great so you know, there's a bit of a misconception. I noticed that Zendikar Rising, the set booster, had sunk all the way down to the 80s earlier. I think it was back in, uh, let's see, we're in August now. So this would have been uh, May or June. And I thought that was outrageous because the main pull away from these boxes is the, the box topper. That's what you're searching for. You're really hoping you can crack one of those uh, amazing... Um, you know, Zendikar Expeditions box toppers from this set. Uh, you know, there's like Clearwater Pathway or what is it? What are all the ones that are in there? Let me think about it off the top of my head here. We've got Cavern of Souls, I'm pretty sure. Polluted Delta, Scalding Tarn, Misty Rainforest. And for those of you who've seen all the Modern Horizons Pat Crack videos, you know those cards are all making a comeback right now. The good old Fetchies. Um, they're making a comeback in the Modern Horizons 2 boxes where you can score just, you know, fetchy after fetchy after fetchy. You'll have seen in a couple of my videos that I posted for the Modern Horizons collector boosters, Modern Horizons 2 collector boosters, that um, you can get as many as 7 fetch lands. Even like 8 or 9 lands when you consider like the temple and, uh, you know, prismatic, um, what do you call it, the prismatic one, prismatic vault or whatever it is. Um, so you can score quite an amazing, quite an amazing few fetch lens in the the new Modern Horizons 2 uh, collector booster boxes, and that's why we're doing this. We're going to save the box topper for last because I also want to talk just a little bit about the set boosters themselves and kind of the cards that you're getting in there. So um, to kind of get things started, you know, Zendikar Rising was, I believe, the very first set booster box that there ever was from Magic, and they did that because they wanted to spice things up a little give a little bit more variety in the boxes and so they've included an art card slot which is going to be followed by a land slot and then six uncommon or common um, cards and there's varying rates of uh, of what you could get there um, you know how many how many uncommons or commons it's very rare that all six are going to be uncommon but it does happen in this case we only got one uncommon uh, well, let's see six yeah and then after that, you're going to get a head turner slot, which can consist of rares, I believe, a number of different types of cards. Um, in this case, it's a showcase card. I'm trying to remember what all can come in the head turner slot. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, you can, I believe you can get a rare in here. Um, and it's usually just a visually interesting card, something that's going to um uh typically be though actually sorry there's not a rare in this slot it's going to be just a common or uncommon but it's going to be a showcase card so something that's kind of fancier like a cool elemental card or something like that after that you're going to get a uh, wild card rarity slot which could be a rare common uncommon or mythic rare in this case we got just a common and then um following that you get your rare or mythic slot sorry i might have been one card ahead but you get your rare mythic slot in this case we got a yasharn Implacable Earth, um, and then following that, I think it's your to a foil card and then a token card, and that foil card could be either a mythic or a rare as well. So, just again, I'll I'll go through that one more time, and, and there we go, we got the token card. <coughs> I'll go through through that one more time, and then we'll just kind of breeze through these thirty six, the thirty four remaining packs, and uh, get into that box topper and see what was pulled there. So there you go, your art card, followed by your land card. Then you got six common or uncommon. One, two, three, we got two uncommon there. Followed by a random, um, again, head turner card. In this case, it's a card that has multiple functionalities. It's the Palaka Caverns or the Palaka Predation. Um, let's just stick those back in the pile over here. And then there's a Brushfire Elemental. Um, which in this case was the random wild card rarity slot, followed by the good old rare slot, Valakut Exploration. Um, which, by the way, the Valakut Awakening is a moderate value card. The Valakut Exploration, not so much. Um, oh, and we got a uh, double. This was the the uh, the final or second last slot, which is the. Um, random rare or mythic that's guaranteed in every pack 
we got before that we got a we got lucky with the the rare pull on the totally wild card slot so anyways the leyline tyrant that's actually a fair value i think it's like three dollars maybe so it's not bad not a bad pull for the first mythic rare pull and then for the foil we got a common chilling trap and then lastly we did get a, the list card forgot to mention that that is another type of card that is going to come in these set boosters another reason to get it you can get some pretty awesome list cards i think up to like 50 dollars, if not more on a list card so another reason why i like these set boosters just it's totally random you never know what you're going to get it's kind of a surprise after a surprise as you just saw in that pack we got a list card plus a mythic rare bonus in there so there's our art card followed by the land card and then we're going to go through six common or uncommons. This time we got one, two, three uncommons. Followed by a random rarity, or sorry, a head turner card. And this time it is the Bayin Veil and the Bayin Coast. Then we got a Deadly Alliance for a wild card slot. And, and you know why I got confused here? There's actually two wild cards. So in this case, we got two common wild cards. I know, trash, tell me about it. And then a Swarm Shambler for our rare card. I'm trying to remember, no, the swear, not very valuable. Um, and then a Brushfire Elemental for an uncommon foil. Our first uncommon foil. And yes, I've, I've seen the comments about the focus. I know the focus was trash on at least one other video. So I'm really doing a, my honest effort here to make sure the focus is good. So there's our first land card, followed by one, two, three, four, two uncommons. For the head turner, we got a Prowling Felidar. I think I already pulled that in this pack. Now we're getting two random wild cards, and we're getting a base camp and a core celebrant. Followed by, yes, I mentioned it earlier in this video, the Valakut Awakening, which is actually a very good value rare pull. It's double-sided, given that triangle in the corner there. So the Valakut Stone Forge, great pull right there. I'm going to put that with the Mythic Pulls. And for the foil, we got a, uh, a special formatted card, however you want to call it, a showcase foil right there, the Territorial. Territorial Scythe Cat and a copy token. All right, let's keep on ripping. I really want to get to that box topper and see what it is. I've gotten lucky in the past, so I want to know if I'm going to get lucky again here today. There's the art card. Nice, a foil, full art land. First foil, uh, or sorry, not full art, but showcase, I guess you could say. First uh, foil showcase land. And how many uncommons? One, two, three, and four uncommons. Not bad. That's actually a very rare occurrence. I think that's getting down. Let me check the rates here. That is going to be 40% of the time. Oh, wait, no, sorry. 7% of the time you'll get four uncommons. So that was a very rare pull. Um, if you're opening 20 packs or 100 packs, you're only going to have seven with them. So for the random, for the uh, fancy card, the artwork card or whatever, the random wild card, excitement card, um, we got a Ma McKindy Stampede or a McKindy May says, and nothing fancy. Then for our wild rarity cards, we got a Hagra Constrictor and a Soaring Thought Thief, followed by the rare pull, which in this case is a Kazandu Mammoth or a Kazandu Valley. Not a very fancy card, not very high dollar value, but what can you do? We did get a foil rare, and this time it's an Oran Reef Ooze. I don't know what the value of that one is. I can't imagine it's anything too much, but it was a great little pull. I'm going to shift these cards aside here so I can make some more room for the foil rares and foil mythics. Oh, and nice. I wasn't even paying attention. I got a Thought Knot. Seer, um, is that Oath of the Gatewatch or something like that, or Gatewatch or something like that? I can't remember the name of the set off the top of my head right now. But that's from the list, and that was another rare pull in that pack, so that was excellent. Um, we got three rares in that pack. One foil, one from the list, and one from the set. Awesome, awesome stuff. 
There's a good old Jace Bellaran and a Mountain for our uh, land card. We got one uncommon that time around. The Head Turner card is a Vastwood Fortification or a Vastwood Thicket. Blood Beckoning and Negate for our random rarity cards and Inscription of Insight for the rare. Not very fancy, not very fancy at all. And then the Glacial Grasp is the common foil. You never know what you're going to get in some of these packs. I've gotten like $60, $70 uh, Zendikar Rising packs, which is insane. Considering if you only spend like 70 or 80 bucks or even 100 bucks on the box, that's phenomenal, you know? Two uncommons this time around. For the six, followed by a Skyclave Cleric or a Skyclave Basilica. For the first random rare uh, pull here in the wild card slot, we got a Magmatic Channeler. And, oh gosh, that's amazing. A Seagate Restoration. We got two uh, wild card rare mythic pulls there. That means there's at least one more rare, and there could be. Um, actually two more. There could be a, a foil rare mythic and there's going to be the guaranteed rare mythic. So this is exciting. Seagate Restoration is a top dollar card. A uh, very fair value card. Some very hot, I think that's like the third most expensive um, non-extended art card in the set. So that's pretty awesome. Then there's a Null Priest of Oblivion for a rare. And we didn't catch a fifth rare, but Bolt blood price for a common foil. That was an awesome pack. What did we got three or four four rares in that pack? That's incredible. I think you can get up to six, is it? If you get that list card as a rare as well in there. Both the list card and the uh, uh, foil, you can get up to six rares or mythics in a pack, which is insane. And another good reason to get one of these set boosters. Just you never know what you're going to get. And that goes for even the current sets as well, right? So we got a Spike Field Hazard or Spike Field Cave. These are the random rarity cards. No rares or mythics. Nice. There is a Nahiri, Heir of Ancients, Heir of the Ancients for another mythic pull, and that one's showcased. That's an awesome pull right there. Very happy with that. What did I do down here? Why is the Null Priest in that pile? It doesn't belong there. Then for the foil card, sorry about the camera shake there, I kicked it. I got a spare supplies and awesome. A plane, sh uh, is that plane, sh or what do you call it? My gosh, I'm brain farting on set names right now. But anyways, it's a Phyrexian Tyranny. I'm going to double check the set name because that's really going to bug me if I don't get it. Plane shift, my gosh, what a forgetful, geez, I feel silly. Anyways, that's a good value, the list card, 3 to $5 right now. So that's an awesome pull as well. Can't complain about that whatsoever. Awesome, awesome. It's always awesome when you get a, um, you know, from the Zendikar Rising, that's one of the first set boosters, uh, or the first set booster, and it's awesome to get a reprint retro card in, in one of these uh, set booster boxes. So can't complain about that. All right, what are we getting here for commons? Just one on common and a McKinney Ox for the uh, WoW card or the Head Turner card slot. Random rarities, we got nothing fancy there. For the rare card, we did get a River Glide Pathway, not bad. The River Guard Pathway or the Lava Glide Pathway. Um, the River Guide Pathway is actually a five or six dollar card or something like that, five to ten dollar card. So. That's a great pull. Also another rare, we got a, a, a second rare foil card here, the Swarm Shambler. That's awesome. Very happy about getting uh, as many foil rares as you can in these set boosters. That's, that's pretty awesome, especially if I was doing some uh, deck building and draft play right now. That would have been pretty cool. Especially for the draft play. All right. Let's see, one uncommon again, a Balaged Recovery or a Balaged 
and maybe I'm saying that wrong, but Balagad Sanctuary for the Uncommons. For the Random Rarity slot, we got a Cliff Haven and a Canopy, nothing fancy, but, but, there is a Crawling Barrens, land, a rare land, awesome pull. Very nice. And then for the foil, sneaking guide, common card, and a uh, mini game token card. Nothing too, f some of these art cards are valuable by the way, so make sure you're paying attention for that. There are some like, there can be up to like $20 art cards. I don't know if there are in the Zendikar set. I didn't check the art card values before I made this video, but just something to be aware of. For the head turner, we got a, excuse me, Kabira Takedown or a Kabira Plateau. For the random rarity slots, Skyclave Sentinel and Ryzen Riptide. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nighthawk Scavenger for our rare, our guaranteed rare. And Skyclave Geopede Foil Showcase slash whatever head turner type of card you want to call it. Not bad. And then another Magic Mini Game card. Now, when it comes to the art cards, you want to keep your eye out for the ones with the signatures on them. Always set those aside because they can be worth a pretty penny. Territorial Scythe Cat for a Head Turner. Cleansing Wildfire and Skyclave Pickaxe. Finally got an uncommon in that random wild card slot, but still nothing fancy. Then there is a Squad, uh, geez, Squad Commander for a rare and a Mesa Lynx foil common and a good old token card nothing fancy on the art cards just trying to skate through these a tangled flora flora dorn flora drawn whatever and for the random rarity rabbit bite skyclave squid nothing fancy but Another Clearwater Pathway slash Merc Water Pathway. These are great cards. Um, the Clearwater Pathway, I think that's a five to ten dollar card. So another awesome pull. And these Pathway cards and these Seagate Restoration, there there are many of those in the set booster. So you're very well likely to get back your hundred plus dollar investment in the box. Dreadworm for a foil uh, showcase card, and then Core Warrior for a token. Just gonna pick up pace now, really going for those wild card slots. We got uncommon, 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 all uncommons. Do you know how rare that is? I think that's a 3% chance, 2% chance of that happening right there. And it just happened, all uncommons. That would be incredible for drafting. Absolutely awesome. For the wild card slots, nothing fancy. And for the guaranteed rare mythic, there is a Veritol, the split current. And a Cliffhaven Cell Sword. Oh, and we got a list card. A Latchkey Fairy from... Uh, I am really off on my set names today. It starts with a P. My gosh, why am I so failing today? Whatever, you guys can comment on that. I think that's a fair value. It might be a fair value. Like, there might be some value to it for... Uh, for even though it's just a common. <sighs> Why can't I think today, man? Unreal. It's a Sunday. I'm taking my day off just like you guys. Random rarity cards. Nothing fancy. We got a Hagra Mauling. Flip it over and it is a Hagra Blood Pit. Not a fancy card at all. Shepherd of Heroes for a foil and good old Urza's Legacy. Um, the list card, Fodder Cannon. More retro prints. That's awesome. I'll take them. Give me those retro reprints. I like them. Especially after Modern Horizons and Time Spiral Remastered. I mean, loving the reprints these days. I like that old frame. Random rarity cards. We got a Crawling Baron. It's not bad. We got at least a rare there. One rare of the two. Not bad. I'll take it. And a Felidar Retreat for a guaranteed rare. Followed by Oblivion, Oblivion's Hunger for a foil common. 
definitely past halfway through. We're almost getting there to that uh, showcase or box topper. I mean, nice. We got a, sig a signature card here. Have to check out what the value is on this one. I'm not sure. Is that Ke Kaya or Kaya? I don't know. Let's see what we got here. Head Turner slot, Song Mad Treachery, followed by wild cards. We got a Wayward uh, Guide Beast for a rare. So we did get another extra rare in that pack. Always nice. A Legion Angel. Nice. I want the Angel of Destiny though, but I'll take a Legion Angel anyway. Always. Always happy for the extra rares. Although that was the guaranteed rare slot, I do believe. Let's see what we got here. Random rarities, nothing fancy. A Linvala, Shield of the Seagate. And a common foil seafloor stalker. No signature. Random rarities, nothing. There is a Valakut Exploration, a second one. That is awesome. Well, not so awesome. I want the Awakening one, but it's awesome to get uh, duplicate rares, especially when they're high value. That one's not, but um, nobody's going to complain with getting two awesome value rares. Interesting, no token, no the list card. It's just trash. Just a garbage throw. Just a promo card. Random rarities, an uncommon, and glass pool mimic. Nice. We did get an extra rare here. Glass pool mimic or glass pool shore. Not a top dollar value card, but an extra rare nonetheless. And a maddening cacophony for a rare. The foil is a blood beckoning common. There we go, we got another foil full art, or showcase art, whatever you want to call that one. It's definitely not a full art, because full art takes up the whole card. Went through that in Modern Horizons. Awesome! Omneth, the Locus of Creation. Awesome little pull here. He's so much fun to play with, too, for an elemental. And a Ghastly Gloom Hunter. There is a list card. The Felwar Stone from one of the Commander sets, I believe, right? Is that 2017 or something, or 2015? I'm not sure. I think that's a 2015 Commander card. Not 100% sure. There's a good old Jace. Nice little four uncommon pull there. Skyclave Relic. I'd rather the Skyclave Apparition, but it is a rare. Field Research, Foil Common. Getting down to the last six of the pack here. More than 20% of the way through. The end is in sight. Random Rarities. There is an extra rare here, an Inscription of Insight. Nothing fancy though, nothing fancy at all, and a Kaza Royal Chaser, Kaza Kaza, whatever you want to call them. Now here he's binding for a foil common. Whoops, whoops. Oh, that one looks awesome, eh? For the artwork. All right, let's see what we're getting into here. Wild card, random rarity slots, nothing. Emiria's Call for our, our, a really nice mythic pull. Emilia, Emiria, the Shattered Skyclave. Awesome, another mythic pull there. Roost of Drakes for an uncommon foil and a mini game card. Strictly better. By the way, some of the mini game cards are actually worth money too. So something else to pay attention to. Another foil land card. Head Turner, random rarity, random rarity, and Nahiri's litho forming. Fun card to play with. And Seagate Banneret for a foil. Oh, nice. And a Lorwyn 
Uh, Blightsicle. Kind of makes me want a popsicle. It's bloody hot outside lately. It's been a hot summer this year, compared, especially compared to like last like four years ago or whatever. Everything is just getting hotter and hotter every single year. You can enjoy your time outside even less. Ancient Green Warden. Woo! That's a win. That's a win. Second most valuable card for a non uh, extended art card in this box. So that's an awesome pull right there. Again, we got the second and third most valuable cards. The only ones we haven't got it. The only one we're really missing right now is Agadim's Awakening. I really wish I would have pulled one of those by now. I've done like four or five of these bloody set boosters and still haven't pulled one of those, man. Like, what's going on? Just getting ripped off. Not really, though, because I'm getting great pulls here. Five, on, four uncommons there. These are the wild card rarities, uncommon, and a forsaken monument. That is another good value card. Awesome legendary artifact for gameplay. Colorless, you control, get two, two. Just awesome. All right. And whenever you cast a colorless spell, you gain two life. That thing is a beast, man. Dauntless Unity for a common foil. That is a beastly artifact. I need to... I forgot about that one. I need to add one of those in a couple of my decks. Nice, we got a Siggy here. Nice little signature on that card. I need to start thinking about where to add that to my colorless and... Uh, Mono white maybe and some other decks. All right, let's see what we got here. Random rarity cards, nothing fancy. There is a nimble trap finder for our rare. And a rabid bite common foil. Two more packs and then we're ripping open that box topper and seeing if I got lucky today. Seeing if y'all get a little jelly. Swamp Foil, Random Rarity, Random Rarity, Legion Angel, come on, come on, you could have given me the Angel of Destiny, you know, magic, Tajuru Snarecaster, last pack, awesome pulls, I think I've already made back the value of the box anyway, and then we're just seeing if we can get some fluff here now, plus that box topper, let's see what happens. Random Rarity, Random Rarity, nice, a Thieving Skydiver, so there's an extra rare, and a Magmatic Channeler, not terrible. bad. Oh nice, and a Coral Helm Chronicler, bonus foil rare, three foil rares there, not bad, not bad. I'll recap on the top dollar value cards, and then I'll show you the box topper. For the top value, we got Forsaken Monument, Ancient Green Warden. Emiria, nah, but she's a mythic. Omnoth, yes. Valakut Exploration, no. Clearwater Pathway, yeah, kinda, kinda, sorta. R River Glide Pathway, Nahiri. Seagate Restoration, bing, bing. Valakut Stormforge, or the Valakut Awakening, which is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And Leyline Tyrant. Lots of great pulls here. Three mythic, four mythic, five mythic, six mythic, seven mythics. Right? Seven bloody mythics. That's awesome. Seven bloody mythics, three rare uh, foils, and then for the list cards, there's also two rare list cards. So awesome, awesome stuff. Let's get into this box topper. You've been waiting. You've been patiently waiting. Let's see what it is. The suspense must be killing you. It's killing me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Misty, freakity, rainforesty, shazam a bam a bam, wham. Wickedness, guys. That is how you do a, bo a set booster box pack reveal. We'll just add that to the Scalding Tarn that I pulled in the earlier video that never made it. By the oh, I, I didn't realize I had all these in my hand too here. Just some random cards sitting beside the desk. Good old demonic tutor foil. Good old wooded foothills. And a classic, classic Misty Rainforest. And we can do a little comparison. What's nicer? The classic Misty or the the Expeditions Misty? I don't know. They're both pretty dope, to be honest. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, reminder, friendly reminder, the August free card giveaway is going on right now. I gave away two free cards last month, $16 in total. 
enter your name below by dropping a comment. Make sure you're subscribed or you're going to miss out like four of the other or three of the other guys from last month. Make sure you're subscribed to be entered in the drawing. And uh, yeah, like the video, drop a comment, subscribe, and you'll be entered. Have a great day.